Hi beautiful people, hope everybody is doing well wherever you are in this world. It is now I think nearly 7 o'clock in the evening. Hope everybody had an amazing Labor Day weekend. I am actually in the process of ironing school uniforms, doing last bit of laundry. You guys, a mother's job is never ever done. So I promise you guys that I would be doing a separate video in regard to Goose, her interaction with Unirock. On that live that he participated in with Molly Golightly and Justice for All. And I just wanted to show you that throughout this interaction with Molly, Justin and Goose, Unirock is all about getting evidence and the truth about the GoFundMe and proof of a lawyer. So in these clips you will see Goose explaining to Unirock about all these people that requesting refunds and she even offers him the evidence but he makes no effort in receiving this evidence which i will explain my thoughts about that at the end you guys can actually come to your own determination about what i'm saying how respectful goose molly and justin were how calm they were kind forthcoming with any kind of information that he needed and very gracious towards him. But like I showed you in my previous video, when he actually went back to his audience, he had a totally different perspective of things. And it just makes you wonder, what is his agenda? So before we get into that, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. And as per usual, this is my opinion. So without further ado, here we go. I guess the major issue is just that people wanted to know that she, that Letitia got the lawyer. Didn't you see proof of that though, when the lawyer was doxxed? Katie doxxed the lawyer. Yeah. I, I know it's she really doxxed the lawyer. And, and I know what, what I saw that. But the thing is though, that's, it's not, you know, if saying that they, that she has a lawyer doesn't mean that she's using the lawyer, that she paid the lawyer all the money or any of that stuff. Now, don't think I'm judging. I'm not. Like, I don't expect Letitia to give all the money to the lawyer. I would have, if I were her, I would have kept, you know, I would have kept a, a pocket to make sure I can see Marvon again and that I can feed myself and get a hotel. I think that there's just miscommunication because while, like a lot of the donors, maybe there'll be a few that might want a, a refund or something in the end, they, which they don't have to have, by the way. Do you know how much she's donated, though? Like, I mean, I've I've spoken up about this. She really okay. So if you include the eleven hundred that KJ took back from GoFundMe, she's donated. Uh -huh. She has refunded an additional over four thousand dollars. Well, I I know that that's what the the, the issue is. Is Do that you, there's a I mean, do you want to see that? I think that people would want to, or, or that maybe like it would help. You're not if, believing if, it, right? No, it's not me. It's not me. No, 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 no. I am believing you. <laughs> I'm going to take anything you tell me as you saying it, and then I'm going to apply it to what I have. I'm not going to think anything like you're lying, or I'm not going to put anything like you're, there's negative inference, but I'm just going to look at what we have after seeing what's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm not, a, I'm not here to bust you or put you down or anything as much as, you know, maybe that's what you think. I doesn't know that that's like a function of things could have given out refunds. Like she said to, to people and maybe, you know, certain people didn't get some other people's did. I, I just would want Letitia to show evidence and then uh, of the lawyer. Now I don't want to force her to, cause she could have a good reason. And I can I tell you what she did. That. So yes, at first, please. so when, when I think I mentioned either here or on Tia's channel about how like some people were getting donations that hadn't donated yet. So what had happened because it was new to Letitia is that people were sending like a request for payment and uh -huh. then putting in oh. the notes and putting okay. in the notes that they were due a refund because of either they had donated this amount of money or they one person was trying to do that and get $2,000. And so yes. then everything was shut off you know, so okay. you couldn't donate or any, you couldn't oh, really touch no. her account at all. And then she contacted Cash App and Cash App went through everything and they looked at all the stuff that showed uh, donations and true refunds. And that's how the over $4,000 got refunded back to people was because Cash App literally was, I don't know if they were on the phone oh. or the computer or whatever, but they worked on it together. And the then that's how- herself. 
Yeah. yeah we, so probably. that's how right. all that part got fixed. And then there's, and so right now, and this was as of me talking to her last night, there's one refund that's still like, Cash App has told her she doesn't have to refund it back, but she's trying to figure out if she should or not because it doesn't have anything to do with yeah, yeah. donating for a lawyer or anything like that. Right, yeah. So I get you. That's, I get you. that's the is... only one that she doesn't have any open uh, refunds sitting there with, with her Cash App. This is the thing. You. So in this next clip, you will hear Goose explaining how Social Blade works, which in my opinion, Unirock, the investigator of fraudulent fundraisers, should have known and apply that knowledge from the get-go. Really quick about the social blade, one of the things that I learned was when someone does a fundraiser, it, they're, so like, you know, usually you have a super chat button, but when you do a fun, a, an actual YouTube fundraiser and you pick out an organization, that super chat button is gone and it turns into a donation button, okay? Yeah. Well, when you go mm -hmm. back and you look at Social Blade for that day, it's gonna look like that person got donations in like, so for the, yeah. the video sure. where I think Marissa yeah. ended up getting like just under $7,800 donated for missing and exploited children. It's going to look yeah. like she got that in super chats. Cause I think it's the way that they, they use their algorithm for to figure out, you know, cause obviously they're not going well, and watching every single one of the YouTube creators videos to calculate all this stuff. There's a formula that they use in order to pick up, you know, the range of, um, uh, donations and stuff like that. So on um, like, I, and I, I checked this like when, um, uh, duty Ron did a fundraiser and that day it showed that he made, you know, $1,500 or whatever it was for that. Right. When I went and looked at it, it could be more now because people can continue to donate. But so I think that's part of the issue too, because people will say like, Oh, well, Marissa made, you know, $7,000 on this fundraiser for St. Jude or not St. Jude, but missing and exploited children. When in reality, mm -hmm. she didn't make anything through the, through YouTube. Now, if somebody well, sure. decides yeah. to send her a cash app or a PayPal or something like that, like some people just do that. I mean, they see that she's making this video and she's putting it out for people. And some people just want to say, hey, thank you. We appreciate this or whatever. And send her a, a cash app or a PayPal or whatever. And then she gets scolded. But it's not like she's oh, yeah. going, hey, I'm doing this. I'm doing this fundraiser for, you know, two, four, six, eight hours, whatever, whatever the, you know, if it's missing and exploited children or it's St. Jude. You know, she's not sitting there going, oh, hey, you should send me some money. Like her goal is literally oh, raising money for that particular organization. So I think that's part of the issue, too, is when people don't know how Social Blade works on a day for a donation. And so you can't go off of the numbers when it's a legit YouTube fundraiser. Yeah, And I just want to say, I mean, I think that's great that I noticed that she had when I looked at her channel and then Social Blade that she did those uh fundraisers i think that's a great thing i'm i would i'm not going to take that away or anything like um not a lot of youtubers never do that so you know i do notice molly makes an a, 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 an increased attempt probably like she said because what people put on her and say about her that mm -hmm. it, it's a good thing they, that money goes a long way to little organizations and it helps them turn into bigger organizations so that's a good it's a really good gesture I just wanted to tell you for what it's worth. I just, t I just texted Letitia and I heard back from her and every single person that has requested a refund up until this very moment has received their refund with the exception of this one person that donated to her saying, basically, I'm sorry for what KJ did to you. Here's your donate. You know, I want to give you something. That's the only donation. And so other than that, she has, do she has refunded every single person that has requested one. No, it's weird because these kind of stories, every time I come in and look at them, I don't know how Katie's always involved. It's just she's always involved. I, she I started it. She started this. She started this. And what's funny I'll is- I'll definitely like, go look at that. I'll look she back. got go mad ahead, simply because of a video that was, I can't confirm. Like I it's thought, you know, it wasn't even a video where Marissa was bashing KJ or anything oh, like that. She just yeah. put a video out literally just saying like, Hey, I just want to say that like some of the things that she's saying, I can't confirm and stuff like that. So it's kind of crazy that she like freaked out, but I guess, I mean, I've been following KJ for about three years now. And so I've seen some of the stuff that has happened. And I think she just, instinctively thought oh this bitch is talking shit about me you know what i mean she just instead of no, going I, oh, wait, that's not that me, I, I know you know Rock, these people are telling you that kj started all this mess but your response is you'll go look at that 
you should have done that from the get-go to see how all this started, where all this started from. Nobody could miss it. Nobody did miss it because KJ was so vocal about it. And let's not forget, Katie Joy, when you started reporting on, and as you call it, a scam, she promoted your video. How could you have missed that? Um, no, never mind. Scratch that. You don't do your due diligence, aka you don't do your research. So Leticia just sent me a screenshot because Michelle Sabate or Sabate or however she says her yeah. last name is claiming that she requested a refund. She has not. She just sent me the okay. screenshot. She sent two donations. One, um, hold on, I'm going to try to look at it. Hopefully it won't kick me out. Um, so she donated. I can't. I can't keep it open and because I'm using my phone, so I can't keep open the text, but there's two donations and it totals $125 and it literally shows there's no request that's been even asked yet. So I, I get, just, I, I just wanted you to know I, so that in case she comes well, back yeah, in for definitely. what it's worth, like you don't have to believe me, but, um, oh, yeah. I, no, just it, it, I, I try to believe me. everything somebody asks me to believe. We're, even if two people tell me opposing things, I try to give them both benefit of the doubt until I can figure it out later. But, I, I do believe you. Trust me. So, yes. Thank so. you for coming over and just being, yeah. um, you know, cordial oh, and yeah. not raging yeah, sure. and stuff like some people do when they come on panel. You <laughs> know, it can be kind of scary. Like I was saying to Marissa, like, hurry up, put it on like su subscribers only for like an hour or whatever. And I think I accidentally <laughs> said members. So I apologize oh, yeah. to anybody who oh, might watch this okay. afterwards. My I wasn't trying to yeah. like make My it so that. I was just trying to protect the chat because you know how like if all of a I sudden know. a channel comes in and you don't know if they're going to be nice or not and then the mods are having 100%. to go crazy and I think it accidentally got switched to members um, and I think maybe Marissa switched it back to subs but um, there's I know there's some people that aren't able to be watching it right now so I just wanted to apologize for that I wasn't trying to have it switched oh, to members I, I just wanted to be yeah. on subscribers for a little you, bit yeah just I get you too trust thing. me I, I get it all I don't take anything offensive ever even people that insult me or anything I don't I won't it'll it ducks off water off a duck's back I think this was you. I just want to say this I, I think this was I, a, I think this was a really good um for other people to see this and show that sure. you can have a civil conversation it you know what I mean like you maybe people think it's going to go one way but it's nice to be able to have a conversation and be able to talk about things and then hopefully people will look at things a little bit differently instead of going oh yeah they are fraudsters or they are scammers or whatever because i mean i know m probably you know the majority of people watching this video don't know me but like i would never ever ever be friends with and no offense to you justin and marissa but like if i found out that they were scamming i, I wouldn't be friends with them and oh, that's please. just my word oh, and no, i know I, it doesn't mean I much on youtube that. but i get that and, and i would never tell people. my i would never tell anyone to mass report anyone's channel and their Patreons without hardcore sure. facts. So I don't think Unirock was actually aware that he was still live on Molly's side. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, let me talk to Navy. Did, did Navy leave? Did Navy run on me? No, he's here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to talk to my chat. I need. I love it. I love it. Um, we need to talk because I have to process. And what did I tell you? Here's what I want to say before I go pee because I'm going to pee my pants. Uh, I was trying not to be rude and step away because I tried. My grandma always taught me to have manners, and that would have been rude in my opinion. So I tried. Um, I told you some people would get mad at me when I talked to Molly, and I said I would talk to Molly. And the reason people get mad is they feel I'm too nice. That's just me. <laughs> no, you know, Rock. You are a wuss. From what I see, or what I saw, you are the biggest wuss I've ever come across. So my goal, I guess, talking to you guys would be like saying, um, whatever Letitia could be comfortable to do to kind of ease people so that they won't want as many refunds. And, and I can't make them, but... I think that a little bit of proof and a little bit of understanding might help the people that want refunds, you know, change their mind even. Let me start with this last clip that played where Unirock said, or he was talking about what his goal was. Once again, Letitia has done all she needs to do. We have heard Miss Letitia cry. We have seen her asking you to leave her and her family alone 
Go and do your research, Unirock. See where and how all this started. And let me give you a bit of a heads up. Her initials are KJP. As you say, Unirock, you just want answers for the donators, as you call them. Why do you call them donators? Isn't it, aren't they called donors? Please somebody correct me. So why didn't you receive the receipts that Goose was willing to give to you? Um, was it just because that wouldn't work according to your storyline? Was it because you are the one that's falsely leading your audience down the wrong road? So it wouldn't fit your storyline if you did have the proof as to Miss Letitia telling the truth? Uh, these kind of things just go through my mind. And also, has anybody, because we all know Katie Joy, you know, when somebody speaks ill of her or goes against her, she's quick to put them on blast. So tell me, Katie Joy has not heard about this live that he was actually part of with Molly and Justin, and she didn't come across him basically throwing her under the bus, and she said nothing about it? That's very weird to me. And I know, as you guys can see, I did not put clips of Unirock actually talking about the aftermath of what happened in this live. And I'm not going to do that because, first of all, it is so hard to watch Unirock. It, it is hard. <laughs> Trust me, it is hard. But I can say that he was giving his audience false information. The way he spoke about Goose, talking about her as who was that person. You had ample opportunity to find out who Goose was, but you chose not to. Which is so sad because you are supposed to be the true teller, the investigator of fraudulent fundraisers. Bullshit. In my opinion, Unirock, you are the scammer. You ignoring the truth. You're the one that's taking your own audience for a ride. Scamming your own audience, which is so fucked up because you don't want to acknowledge the truth, period. You guys, like I said, you guys can come up with your own conclusion as to how you took all this, but Unirock is a piece of shit, period. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you. Please have a wonderful and safe rest of your week. As you guys can see from the picture I inserted here, a storm is heading our way. And I know people in Georgia are actually dealing with flooding. And it's like, when is all this going to stop? So it looks like it's heading our way. Please be safe out there. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Be kind to one another. And don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.